Hello everyone, welcome to our Just Talk series. My name is Shawana Rogers. I'm the Diversity and Economic Development Coordinator for the City of Conway. Thank you for tuning in on today. Just Talk is a series inspired by Mayor Cassaberry to inform the citizens of Conway on what's happening in city government. So we have some special guests with us today for Metro Plan. We have Ms. Lakeisha Stewart and we have Mr. Tab Townsville. So Lakeisha, tell us a little bit about yourself and then Tab, you tell oh, us, jump good. right in. My name is Lakeisha Stewart and I am a community planner and public outreach coordinator at um, Metro Plan, and I have been with Metro Plan for approximately three and a half years now. Um, in my position, I assist with a variety of planning documents, such as the development of our Metropolitan Transportation Plan and our Public Participation Plan. I also oversee our outreach efforts. I am the executive director of staff that we service the requirements of the federal government at the wishes of our board of directors. That's my job at Metroplan. I've been there about four and a half years since mm -hmm. I stepped out of office as mayor. And that's a, a full term of Mayor Bart Castleberry and, and then some. Uh, and the world's changed in many ways. It has, and definitely. So there's probably been a lot of new people move in that don't know who I am. But I did serve as mayor of Conway for 18 years, elected in 1998. I was a graduate of, of UCA, a graduate of Conway High School, spent most of my life in Conway. So. I'm a, I'm a native of Conway, you could say. Tell us about the importance of Metro Plan and how Metro Plan plays a part in not only the growth of Conway, but the Central Arkansas metropolitan area. Absolutely. Federal government uh, creates organizations like Metro Plan. Mm -hmm. um, we are what is called a metropolitan planning organization. And it is really, at its core purpose, the local jurisdiction's counterbalance to the decisions made about spending federal highway dollars in the central Arkansas region corresponding to the metropolitan statistical area. That's the Little Rock, North Little Rock, Conway metropolitan statistical area, at least till the census comes back out. Yeah. Those names may switch depending on who's bigger, Conway or North Little Rock. We're looking forward to it. Well, but, <laughs> but nonetheless, what this comes down, comes, comes from is back when the, the Eisenhower initiative to mm -hmm. fund the interstate highway system being built. Uh, they created the gas tax and gave that gas tax at the federal level to the state departments of transportation to build the interstate highway system across the United States. And everything was great. We were going to be happy motoring across the map of the United States much better, except that uh, the departments of transportation had no obligation to deal with the local people. They just made the decisions to where the interstates were going to go, mm -hmm. and that plowed up whole districts of cities and metropolitan areas that it disturbed people. There was no feedback mechanism at the local level. So in, in their wisdom, Congress created the MPO organizations in 1962 and gave them the right to approve or disapprove the expense of federal highway monies on federal highway projects in that metropolitan statistical area. So my board of directors, uh, which is made up of the county judges, and the mayors of all the cities in our region have a chance to say yes or no on the expense of money. And if they actually mm -hmm. said no, which has not really ever happened, but if they ever did say no, then the State Department of Transportation, RDOT, could not spend those monies in Central Arkansas. That's our primary reason for existence. Uh, but we also have some obligations that if we're going to have a certain power of calling balls and strikes on, uh, on state and federal projects mm -hmm. in our region, then we have to do some planning. And that's the planning efforts that, that Lakeisha was talking about, that we have to put up a 20-year long-range transportation plan that staff is responsible for working with citizens and our board to compile a, a, a long-range transportation plan encompassing 20 years, as well as a four-year rolling program of work that we call the Transportation Improvement Program, and a variety of other documents to ensure that we uh, broadly approach our efforts uh, and, and hear all voices that we can from across our region. So that's the other efforts, the public participation plan and Title VI requirements. And that ties right into the um, public participation, which kind of gears up to what you're currently doing. So Lakeisha, Metro Plan is gearing up to gain, or has already began the campaign to gain some insight from citizens via um, the survey. Can you tell us a little bit about, about that? So to start that process of updating that Metropolitan Transportation Plan, last year we got with our regional advisory committees. We have three regional advisory committees and we got with them to pretty much identify 
um, the barriers and needs of Central Arkansas as it pertains to um, how can we connect the transportation system, make it more diverse and more accessible to all um, areas within Central Arkansas. So through that outreach with our regional advisory committees, we came up with five themes. And those themes are meant to serve as goals, as you will, and they are meant to also serve as um, a driving force for our metropolitan oh, awesome. plan, transportation plan. Mm -hmm. So now we're bringing these themes to the public and we're asking them exactly, are these particular themes important to the development of Central Arkansas? Well, you figure we're looking out for 20 years from now. So are these themes important to that development? And if they are, then exactly what specific action steps, solutions, or strategies should we take to achieve those themes? This is an effort to make sure our finger is on the pulse and we're trying to create a long range transportation plan awesome. that matches the true wishes of our citizens. So you don't assume that what we did in 1995, it's going to continue to hold in 2021. Absolutely. So you have to go back, and every five years is the mandate from the federal government. So we talked about the ways that the public can be involved. One of them was the survey. Yes. Um, so can you elaborate just a little bit? Tell them where they can get the survey, where they can do the survey, how they can be involved. If you go to metroplan.org, it's pretty easy to navigate and to access. You will see a big bright logo that says um, Public Outreach Initiative. Also, if you go to our social media pages, we're on Facebook as well as Twitter, you will see our survey um, pinned to the top of the post. That's pretty awesome. So, Ms. Lakeisha has told us where we need to go. Metro we need your org. input. Metroplan.org. We need input. So make sure you go to Metroplan.org and fill out this fill out the survey, complete it. You know, that's the way that we can be involved. So if you'd have to leave us with one takeaway today about Metroplan, what would that be? Um, for me, that would be we plan for Central Arkansas. Therefore, it, it is important that we hear from you. We want and need to hear from Central Arkansans. And not only in our long range transportation plan, but like Tab said, with the multi-use um, trail and other projects that we have going on. Without Central Arkansans, there, there is no Central Arkansas. So therefore, your voice is important and we need you in all aspects of the planning process. Absolutely. Uh, back when I was mayor, I participated a lot with the Arkansas Municipal League. Mm -hmm. Their logo is great cities make a great state. Well, to a large degree, great local areas, whether they're cities or counties, make a great state or region. And Metroplan represents an area that that's true, as, true of as well. Metroplan in the past has been associated with the major road issues, 30 Crossing, for example, most recently. That's all important. That is part of our bailiwick as well. But we are taking a distinct turn down local because if you can't get the local right, you're not going to get the region right. So we are encouraging and want to be a wealth of knowledge and, and a resource for our local jurisdictions uh, to make better cities. And when it comes down to it, you make great quality of place, you create great qualities of life. And that's what we're after for all of our jurisdictions. And we want to be a resource for them as well. And beyond them, the citizens, you know, which we all serve. Well, it, it has been great having this conversation with you all today. Um, we're going to wrap it up, but I, I feel informed. I hope the citizens abroad um, in our region, city of Conway, the county, um, as well as Little Rock, North Little Rock area. If you're tuning in, I hope we had great information for you all today. Do not forget to go visit metroplan.org or you can go to the Facebook page, Metroplan. Um, we will be sharing it as well on the city of Conway's diversity and economic developments page as it relates to the survey, but we need your input and we need your participation. Thank Absolutely. you all for taking out time today to talk with myself and our general audience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.